Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I just got done filming my weekly budget check-in so you guys can go check that video out. I kind of break my weekly paychecks or uh, budgeting up into three different videos and that's because if I left it all in one video it would be well over an hour long um, and I know it's hard for people to you know, in our busy day of lives, people to be able to sit down and watch an hour plus long video. Um, so I have decided, like the last two or three weeks, to break it up into three different portions. So I do my weekly budget check-in, um, which basically just checks in the expenses that I spent that week. I write my transactions down here, and then I do a weekly check-in over here. Um, the next portion is my paycheck to paycheck budget where I write down my income and then I write down my expenses and bills, what I'm putting towards cash envelopes, what I'm putting towards Christmas, and then a, basically a paycheck breakdown with what I have remaining. Um, I'm going to do that now. And then the third portion of it is filling um, and stuffing my cash envelopes, um, which to me is the funnest of all three and the most exciting to watch, in my opinion. So, I am going to go ahead and get started here. So, last week was week two. Today is uh, Friday, December 13th, the second week of um, December, and the second payday for me for December. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start laying these stickers down. Now, you do not need to use stickers. I think I said this in the last video. Um, for me, I own an Etsy shop, so I already have the stickers that I have created to sell in my Etsy shop, so it makes sense for me to use them. But also, it makes it look nice, and it's very visual. I'm a very visual person, um, so I like to use stickers. It makes me look at it more, I feel like, and use it more than if I didn't. Um, so I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to write my income sources down but I always do that at the end so I have my full time job here and that I got paid today the 13th and then my part time job I was paid on the 11th that came in on Wednesday alright so I am going to go ahead and finish laying down the rest of these stickers. Um, I will fast forward through this portion so this video doesn't take so long, um, but I'm going to go ahead and get these laid down now so we can go ahead and finish or get, get going with the paycheck um, but paycheck to paycheck budget. Uh, if I could talk today it would be really great. All right, I have all the stickers laid down. Um, so these stickers come from my Etsy shop. Um, this is one whole kit. You can order whatever paychecks you want. Everybody gets paid different days and whatnot, so you can order whatever paycheck weeks you want. Um, and then the good thing about them is you can lay them down or use whatever you want. Um, you know, you don't have to do it exactly like me. You can have a different um, layout when you do it. So they're completely versatile, uh, which is something I like about them. I lost my pen. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, I already have the income sources written down and the dates. I'm going to go ahead and jump into expenses for the week. Um, and these amounts that I'm writing down are a weekly amount. I take the minimum payment that is due on any bill for a whole month, I divide that by four, and that is what I take out every single week that I get paid um, on Fridays. So that is how I have done my budget for the last year now, um, and it seems to work really, really well for me. So we're going to start with Capital One. Um, Capital One is my credit card, and this is actually the one, this is my smallest balanced debt right now, so this is actually the one that I am working towards getting paid off. Um, and 
just a little sneak peek. It is looking like I am going to be able to get this one paid off by the end of the month. Um, it has a current balance of about $3,500 um, and just kind of judging on YouTube and Etsy and my own personal income, um, I am forecasting that I should be able to do it, but you never know, something might come up, um, but hopefully I can get that one taken care of by the end of the month. So the weekly amount that I am putting towards this one this week is $30. The next one that I have is one main, and this is actually my second largest debt. So after that Capital One is taken care of, I will start working on one main, which is a personal loan. Um, and this week it's getting $76.25. Next is Apple, and Apple this week is getting $5.40. And then I have my car loan. This is my largest debt. And the weekly amount is $153. Next I have Hulu, which we use Hulu Live for TV. And I also have Verizon Unlimited. Um, and I'm sure everybody in the world knows this because it's been all over Facebook. But if you have Verizon Unlimited, um, the Verizon Unlimited plan, and you can get um, Disney Plus free for a year. And I just realized that this week, and I went ahead and got it because we do have the Unlimited plan for Verizon, and it is absolutely amazing. I think I could cancel Hulu and just watch Disney Plus. Um, seriously, every Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, anything movie from like when I was younger is on there and it is so amazing. It's so fun to rewatch those movies because it brings back so many memories um, from your childhood. So if you have Verizon Unlimited, you can get Disney Plus and you can, you can uh, sign in on a smartphone, um, a smart TV, any, all the things. So definitely check into that. It is well worth it. Um, so Hulu is $14.75 for the week, Verizon is $31.87, and then I have my kids' school account, which is $17.50, and that is basically for lunches, and then my daughter's tumbling, which is $16.25. And then I have rent, which is $50 a week. Um, and I feel like I am missing something. I don't think I am, but I just feel like it. <clears throat> Probably because I put this down one too many, I think. Oh, car insurance. That's what I'm forgetting. Car insurance. And car insurance this week is twenty. No, it's sixteen fifty. Just kidding. Sixteen fifty. All right. So I'm going to get all of these added up here. If I can get my calculator out. So we have the $30 for Capital One, $76.25 for One Main, $540 for Apple, $153 for a car payment, Hulu $14.75, Verizon $31.87, $17.50 for school, $16. Nope, that's not right. We'll do that. $16.50 for tumbling, $50 for rent. And then we'll do $16.25 for car insurance, which will take care of the extra $0.25 cents that I put there. There's a way around my, my uh, crazy ways, I know. Okay, so $411.52 is what I have in bills and expenses for the week. So $411.52. 
And then all of these ones here, um, that money stays, actually I transfer it over to Capital One 360, and then I have all of these set to come out of my Capital One 360 account. So I transfer it from my regular checking account to Capital One 360, and then the, with, or the automatic payments come out of my 360 account. So that's how I take care of those. And then my cash envelopes and my sinking funds, which we'll get to in a second, um, those I obviously take out in cash um, and put in my cash envelopes. So we'll start with cash envelopes first, um, and we will start with gas. Gas is getting $40 a week. Gas is about $2.33 right now a gallon. Um, I live in the Midwest, so it's fairly reasonable compared to some other parts of the United States. Next, we will do groceries. Um, groceries gets $80. And then spending will get its normal 40. I have not had to adjust these weekly amounts for probably two or three months. I think I was doing $60 spending a few months ago, but it was just way too much. Um, I don't need that much. And honestly, if I have it, I'm going to spend it. So if I don't give it to myself, then I can't spend it. <laughs> Do you like that logic? <laughs> All right, so Obviously, we have 80 and 80 is going to be 160 for uh, my cash envelopes for the week. So that will get pulled out in cash. And then we'll come down here to, in my opinion, the best part of budgeting, which is sinking funds. Everyone that has watched me knows how much I say I love sinking funds. I seriously, if my budget allowed it, I would have umpteen million sinking funds. And then my sinking funds, also if you watched me before, you know that I hate spending money out of my sinking funds because it's so exciting to watch the total or the balance in your sinking funds grow and increase. And it is so incredibly depressing when you have to spend money out of it and then you have to watch that money decrease like dramatically or drastically. Um... So, yeah, that's the love-hate relationship with sinking funds. But I love them more than I hate them, so. <laughs> so they're obviously a good thing. Um, car maintenance gets 10. Kids gets 20. Christmas, this is the last week that I am putting $100 into my Christmas sinking fund. Next week, uh, which will be the 20th, which will actually be the week before Christmas, um, I am going to back it back down to the $25 uh, normal weekly amount. And then I'll basically just do $25 all the way through next year because, because this one here I actually started later in the year. That's why I kind of upped it to $100. But if I did $25 a week times 52 weeks, that's going to give me $1,300, and then actually I'm starting it two weeks early. So I'm going to have like $1,350 for Christmas next year by starting at $25 a week next week, which is the 20th. Um, and then I still have quite a bit of money in my Christmas sinking fund right now. Um, I'm not done Christmas shopping, so I don't know yet what I will have left over from that, so that's um, to be determined. But $1,300 for a Christmas budget is, um, for myself, is a really good amount. It's about what I gave myself this year, so. And it seems to work out pretty well. Um, next one is medical. Medical is going to get five. And then we have household. which will get 15. Gifts will be getting 10. And then last is personal care, which I need to get my eyebrows done. Um, so I'm going to have to use money out of that one probably this upcoming week. And personal care is getting 15. So we're going to go ahead and add up the 
amounts of my sinking funds to see how much we're going to take out total for those. So 175 in sinking funds. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, i um, going to jump back up here and fill in my income quick. Now, <clears throat> I don't normally do the rollover. Um, I'm going to leave that blank, but my full-time job, this week I got $550 like normal, and part-time job was $222 this week. So that is going to be 772 for income for this week. So I'm going to come down here to my paycheck breakdown and I'm going to list the different categories. So we're going to do income, expenses, and I'm basically just taking putting these down from this. So do income, expenses, cash envelopes, and sinking funds. Um, I also have savings on my paycheck stickers, but I am not contributing to savings right now, so I do not use those stickers, but they are there um, if someone wanted to use them. And then we have cash envelopes. And then sinking funds. And we will come over here and write down our totals. So income, like I said, was 772 even. Um, expenses was $411.52. Cash envelopes was $160. And then sinking funds was 175. So we're going to first. I'm going to add up these three um, for the expenses, cash envelopes, and sinking funds. And we're going to take that away from the 772. So I have 25 dollars and 48 cents left over. And then next week, when I knock my um, Christmas sinking fund down, down by $75, obviously what I have remaining will be more every week than it has been. Um, and then that extra just goes towards my extra debt snowball payment, which, like I said, right now is Capital One. That is what I am putting every extra penny that I have. That's where it is going so that I can try to get this one wiped out. Um, which my goal is to get it done by the end of December so that when I go into January I will be working on one main. Um, so that's my goal. Hopefully I can get that done. So that is my paycheck to paycheck um, budget for this week which is like I said December 13th. I am now going to go ahead and do my cash envelope stuffing um, so go ahead and check that video out it'll say part two um, for this week. Yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!